In this video we're going to see how to use Excel to simulate the, the dice game, the craps that you play at the casino. Um, it's easier, more convenient, if maybe not quite as fun as actually going to the casino and playing it yourself. Uh, so the structure of the game is we need two dice, so I'm going to start by setting those up. So let's just say dice one and two, let's say like that, they can be like headings or something, I might bowl those just to be clear. And when we're rolling a dice, that is a random number, so at rand between one up to six. So that's my dice number one. And you'll see like last time when we did all this random number generation that once we type that in we get a random number, in this case it's rolled a five, but when we keep on going it's going to keep rolling the dice. So I'm just going to let it do that and then you'll see um, how we translate that into the game itself. So this is, that's one of the random dice right there, and I'm just going to copy that, Command C, Control C, uh, move across and paste that into dice number two. All right, so we've got a, a six and a four, uh, a six and a four there. All right, let's set up the game itself then. Um, so the structure of the game that's given in the question is that there's a maximum of 10 plays. So I'm just going to go through and put those headings in now. Now we might not get all those 10 plays, I don't know how this is going to work out, because it depends how well the, the dice turn out. So this is going to be uh, dice, whoops, dice 1 here, and dice 2 here. Um, Notice, by the way, as I'm setting this up, these dice just keep on rolling every time I'm doing stuff, so I'm not worried about that for the time being. Um, and the game, we're going to be betting on sevens, right, so which is going to be the sum of those two dice. So I'm going to have a column which will have the sum of the two rolls, and then we'll have the outcome in terms of money. Remember, the, the bet here is that you put down 100, and you end up with either 500 or zero. Um, so another way to think about that is you either uh, win 400 or you lose 100, which is a useful way to think about it. And we'll have, because we'll have our final column here, which is the amount of money that you currently have, and it starts at 200, right? So we're all set there now. Um, so what we're going to do is to just repeatedly roll those dice, put the dice rolls into here, work out the sum, uh, work out the outcome on the basis of that sum, and then see what effect that has on the money and see how long we get to play. Uh, okay, let's go. So these dice have just been rolling away as we keep on doing this. Um, uh, we could just take the three and the six, or we could roll it one more time just to um, add a bit of drama to the whole thing. So in order to do, do uh, in order to do that, I'm going to hold down the command and press equals. It rolls it one more time. That just what the command equals just recalculates everything in the spreadsheet, uh, and we've got a six and a three. All right. So dice one is a six. Dice two is a three. All right. And the sum of those equals this plus this. Okay, so we're just adding up the two to end up with the sum, which is obviously a nine, and so the first play is sadly a loss, so we're looking for a seven, obviously. Now we can code the outcome in here, I mean you could do it yourself manually, that's a loss, so you can put in, okay, we just lost a hundred dollars by, by betting on that. Um, but I'll show you how to put it in in Excel using the if command, because there's two possibilities here. So if the logical test, see how this is coming up and giving us the advice on what it's looking for, right? So we're going to put in a logical test, uh, which is going to be if the sum is equal to 7. And then we're going to put in the value if it's true, which is we gain 400, and the value if it's false, which is we lose 100, right? So, so if this value is equal to 7, then we, the outcome is we win 400, so plus 400. And then if it's false, so if the sum is not equal to 7, then we're going to lose 100. We lose our bet, okay? Uh, so that's the, that's the outcome right there. So in this case, minus 100, because we, we lost this. The sum was a 9. 
And then to keep track of how your stock of money is going, then we could say that this one here is equal to the amount of money um, we had here previously, plus whatever happened as a result of the play. And we're now at 100, like that. All right, so we've now played once and we've lost. All right, so let's go back and play again. I'm going to hold, hold down the command and press equals again. Oh, look at that. So in this case, we've got a six and a one. So we're lucky. Uh, we've got a seven. So I could just, all that stuff I just did, I could redo it all, but wouldn't it be much more easy just to grab those three cells? Okay, I'll show you. There we go, I'm grabbing those three cells, Command C to copy, and just copy them down one place. Bang, like that. Okay, so we've just reproduced those same commands so that we now have seven is the sum of the six and the one. The outcome of a seven is that we win $400, and that gets added to our previous balance, which is 100, and so we're now sitting on $500 is our current stock of money. All right, let's repeat that. Um, so command equals, let's roll again, we've got a four and a five. Four and a five, and we'll just copy these. Obviously that's a loss, right, we've got a nine. So we've lost a uh, hundred dollars, and we're back down to four hundred. Let's roll again. We could just take the two and the one, but it's kind of more fun to actually roll. Okay, so command equals to recalculate a five and a four. Um, and we can just paste everything back in again. Now a 5 and a 4 don't add up to 7, do they? So clearly there's something in the process of pasting that in. So that hasn't pasted in the formula, so I'm going to delete that. It's pasted in those numbers, but if we have a look here, so have a look here, see how it's got the formula? That's not the formula, that's just the number 7. So that's no use to us, we need the formula to get pasted. So let's delete all of these, and I'm going to copy, so all of those have the formula that we want, right, so I'm going to copy those cells, just as we did before, copy, and click there, and paste, command V to paste, okay, that's better, 9 is 5 plus 4, and therefore we lose, and we're now down to $300, alright, good, lesson there learned, um, let's and equals to roll again. Oh look, we've got, oops, sorry, we've got a five and a two. So that would be a win. Now it's copied it down automatically. Excel is a marvelous thing, isn't it? I don't know why it's doing that. So if it does that for you, that's great. Um, I'm going to insist on copying it in myself, just so that you see what's going on. So again, I'm copying those formulae and command C to copy click here, command V to paste, and there we go. This is a good game, isn't it? So we're up to 700 now. Um, let's continue along. You, if you've seen enough now, I'm just going to continue doing this. Um, and if you've, if you've seen an, enough, then you can leave it here. What you need to take to your tutorial, by the way, is uh, the point at which the game finishes. So the play at which the game finishes. Uh, so if it had been the case that, actually I'll come back to that, let's, let's just finish this, this uh, let's finish this game here. So we've got a 4 and a 5, and I'm going to copy those, and I'm going to paste them in here, and that's a loss, and now we have a 5 and a 3, okay, and it's continuing to copy these. So now we're on a little bit of a losing streak here. Let's roll again. We get a three and a five. And I'm going to copy these. And we've got a one and a five. Whoops. Put them in there. And final roll here is our tenth one, which is, oh, look, a two and a five. So we've got a win to finish off. Okay. Paste. Good. 
So that's the end of that particular play. And in this case, we've managed to get all the way through to game 10 without going broke. Okay, so money stayed above zero all the way through. And what you would want to bring to your tutorial is, well, this, this outcome here. So you can bring along this spreadsheet. But what's going to be of particular interest is the fact that uh, n is equal to 10. So you're able to play n equals 10 games without going broke. Okay. Now there are obviously other possibilities. The easiest one would have been, I'm just going to ignore these dice now and put in some, put in some numbers. Uh, so let's suppose I'm just going to grab all of these. Okay, so, so just a reminder, if, you've got, if this happens for you, bring n equals 10 to your tutorial. I'm now going to delete all of this. Uh, I have it on right click and go clear contents, even better. There we go. All right. So let's suppose this was our first play. We got a six and a three like this, and obviously that's a loss. And let's suppose then we had another roll, which was, I'm just going to make it up, which was a one and a two. So obviously that's also going to be a loss. And so when we copy these into there, then the outcome again is minus 100 and the money goes to zero. And so if this happens, then you stop. Okay, because you've now run out of money, you've got nothing to bet on the next play, so you have to leave the game. And in this case, the N is going to be 2. Okay, so there will be some of you who, like the previous play that I showed you, get all the way through to the 10th play without running out of money. In, in that case, N is equal to 10. You take that to the tutorial. If you get something like this, uh, where you just run out of money after two plays, then N is equal to 2 is what you take to the tutorial. And some of you may be in between. Maybe you win once and then lose, 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 and you'll end up with some other value when you run out of money before play 10. Okay, so those are the, those are the possibilities that you have. And if you bring those uh, results to the tutorial, then they will be discussed then.